and welcome to the class of 2023's graduation ceremony. Please stand and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem sung by our senior members of our select choir.
slip from your hand You got one second To try to be clear To try to stand tall But nothing's the same And the wind starts to blow
and congratulations class of 2023. My name is Ellie Caniff and I've been honored to be class vice president for the past three years. First, I would like to thank Principal Gill and Vice Principals Pratt and Blatt for working so hard to give us the best four years here at Silver Lake. I would also love to thank my mom, dad, and my brothers Colin and Will for their endless love and support throughout my whole life. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing our class president, Carson Rose. Carson shares his time not only as president of the class of 2023, but can also be found on the lacrosse fields, a part of National Honor Society, or in chess club. I've gotten to work side by side with Carson this year, and I've witnessed his hard work and dedication to our class. Not only did he bring forth great ideas to our meetings and organize events, he recruited his entire family to sit for hours at his kitchen table to help craft the perfect prom centerpiece. With Carson as our leader, our class has been able to make long-lasting memories that we will carry with us into the next chapter of our lives. Now, I am happy to introduce to you our senior class president, Carson Rose. Thank you, Lily, for the introduction. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. I like to express my gratitude to our faculty, administration, members of the school committee, honored guests, families, friends, and most importantly, my fellow members of the class of 2023 for being here tonight. My name is Carson Rose, and it is a privilege to address you today as the president of the senior class. First, <laughs> first and foremost, I want to extend my heartfelt appreciation to my family, particularly my parents, for their unwavering support, guidance, and for shaping me into the person I am today. I am indebted to them for their constant belief in me. I also want to acknowledge our dedicated teachers and administration for their help throughout the last four years. Today marks the culmination of our formative education, a journey of 13 years filled with tests, quizzes, and homework, all preparing us for the challenges that lie ahead. From the moment we first stepped off the bus to the last time we walked between those double doors, we have grown immeasurably. We have formed enduring friendships, faced obstacles together, burned the midnight oil, and learned from our mistakes. Each one of us has taken a unique path to, re to reach this milestone, regardless of individual academic achievements. Today, we stand united celebrating this significant accomplishment. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Our class has displayed remarkable resilience and unity, weathering the storm of a, of a pandemic and enduring the loss of our dear classmate, Aiden. The strength and togetherness that we have demonstrated during these trying times is truly remarkable and is what makes our class exceptional. Today is a momentous occasion. Do not let me trick you but it does not mark the end or the grand finale. Instead, it represents a plateau on the journey of lifelong learning that awaits us. Learning is an ongoing process, a continuous climb that extends beyond high school. Whether it be pursuing higher education, learning a trade, or embarking on another path, we must embrace the ethos of lifelong learning. An often repeated complaint of students is that high school fails to teach us anything of significance. While I have acquired a myriad of facts within these school walls, such as bouncing a chemical equation, finding the slope of a line, or details about the Battle of Yorktown, fought in 1781, by the way. The importance of these facts may be debated. However, there are truly significant lessons we have learned from our fellow students and teachers that cannot be overlooked. We have learned the value of perseverance, and it shows by us all being here today after enduring the challenges that have unfolded since our freshman year. We have honed our time management skills, bouncing sports, classes, and extracurricular activities. I especially want to thank Mrs. Stang for helping me hone my time management skills. Most importantly, we've discovered our identities, understanding who we are as individuals. These lessons, among others, will not fade away after a test or an assignment. They will remain ingrained in us throughout our entire lives. These are the lessons that truly matter. As teenagers, we often believe that we know everything, a sentiment that your parents might be quick to challenge. Graduates, ask your parents about bouncing a checkbook or changing a tire. And parents, ask your child about changing a password or solving an algebra equation. <laughs> the truth is, we can learn something from everyone, regardless of age or the language spoken. To become a lifelong learner, one must cultivate a mindset of curiosity and a thirst for knowledge that extends far beyond the confines of a classroom. 
Embrace every opportunity to explore new subjects, ask questions, and seek answers. Engage in intellectual conversations with peers, mentors, and individuals from diverse backgrounds. Challenge your own beliefs and be open to different perspectives. Embrace failure as a stepping stone to growth, recognizing that setbacks are opportunities for learning and improvement. Seek out experiences to push you to the outside of your comfort zone, for it is in these moments of discomfort that true growth occurs. Embrace technology and the vast resources available at our fingertips to delve deeper into subjects that ignite your passion. And most importantly, never lose sight of the fact that learning is a lifelong journey and each day presents a new opportunity to discover something about yourself or the world. As we stand here on the precipice of a new chapter in our lives, let us not forget the invaluable gift of education that has been bestowed upon us. These are the lessons we have learned, both inside and outside of the classroom, that have shaped us into the individuals we are today. We are young, and together we have the power to create a future driven by the pursuit of truth, understanding, and continuous growth. I cannot wait to see what we do in the future. Congratulations, graduates, and thank you so much. Good evening to my fellow graduates, families, administrators, and staff. My name is Aislinn Dalrymple. I have had the pleasure of being the class of 2023's treasurer. This year's guest speaker has had a tremendous impact on graduates in years past, today's graduates, and Laker graduates for years to come. Senior year, I have been fortunate to have Mr. Donovan for AP Psychology as well as Sports Psychology. Over the past year, I have come to recognize why Mr. Donovan is known as one of the most hardworking teachers that I and many students sitting here today have had the pleasure of being taught by. Here at the lake, he teaches AP Psychology, Psychology, and Sports Psychology. Along with his fellow data coaches, Mr. Donovan chairs the student voice meetings where students are given a space to speak freely about many topics and conversations we, have, we are affected by daily. In addition to his academic commitments, Mr. Donovan is always going out of his way to know how we are doing as individuals. I can at personally attest to this as he learned tennis terms and players to support the three tennis captains in his AP Psychology class. Mr. Donovan's humanistic perspective on learning creates a welcoming environment that allows his students to grow and become the best versions of themselves. Our Quizlet sessions Monday morning weather reports and his unmatched humor only add to the warmth of his classroom. And without further ado, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce this year's guest speaker, Mr. Sean Donovan. Pull this up a little bit. Just a bit, Ace, just a bit. Is this okay, Jody? It's loud enough, Molly, Ronan? Okay, good. Um, this is way in my face. All right, um, I need to make a few statements that might be a tad bit controversial, but I need to say them. And if you know me, I love controversy. Every day should start with a weather report. Apple picking has no off season. It's never not the right time to ask someone, did you go apple picking this weekend? Lil Paws is the greatest rapper no one knows. Fridays will always be Last Dance Fridays. The number game can be played at any time. You ready? One, three. Ah, we got it, we got to five, great job. They'll tell you later what that's all about. Trinity Squash Team is the sports dynasty you have never heard of. And as Aislinn said, Quizlet Live is the only way to review. I should have played the song. <laughs> Dropped a beat. All right, now we have that out of the way. I'm pleased to welcome our superintendent, assistant superintendent, district and school administration, school committee members, selectmen, faculty, family members, and friends to celebrate the class of 2023's graduation. At this time, I would like to personally thank the class of 2023 and the officers who extended this invitation to me. Lily Caniff, Aislinn Dalrymple, Addie Hamilton, Rosella Hoffman, and Carson Rose. I was completely floored when they asked me, and I'm truly humbled to be here. I was actually in a professional development seminar when they came in with a huge bouquet of fruit. 
The seminar was about restorative justice in schools and how we can work with students on building relationships and helping our students navigate the difficulties that they face. So to say I look good to the people presenting would be an understatement. There they are talking about connections and in come a bunch of students to ask me to be the graduation speaker. Could not have planned that any better. It's the easiest hundred bucks I've ever spent to look that important. Venmos have been sent to all of you. I know many of the parents in the audience today are filled with feelings of joy and a smidge of nervousness about what the future holds for this year's graduating class. But I want to reassure all of you, everyone here in the audience, we are in good hands. The people, young people you see in front of you, they got this. I know, I know how it can look as they juggle academics, athletics, drama, work, social life, and trips to Starbucks, but yet they do it. They manage to pull it off. Some may seem to handle it better than others, but they handle it in their own unique way. In a lot of ways, they're just younger versions of us without the wrinkles and receding hairlines. Listen to some of the things they do and tell me that you don't do some of the same things. Some of them make lists of assignments that they have and things they need to do after school. They have perfectly organized journals with fancy writing on them and their tasks for the day or the week that are upcoming. Some of them take a day off just when they did it. No real reason why, they just take the day and we can't predict when it will happen. They have hit the exhaustion phase of the general adaptation syndrome. Some of them like to work on their own. They understand the power of the introvert and they are comfortable in their own skin and in their own space. Some of them like to work in groups and are extroverts. They thrive in a group with the smart kids and do a little social loafing along the way. Some of them fall victim to de-individuation at games when they lose all sense of self-control and yell and scream for their classmates. I'm sure many of you do the same thing at Patriots games when you yell, hit him. They are us without the back pain. I know we all feel irreplaceable and like no one can ever do what we do better, but I hate to break it to you. This crew I'm looking at, they are going to do it better. They got this. When I say they got this, here's who and what I'm talking about. Don't worry, you don't have to stand. But if you want to put your hand up, that's fine. Where's Liam Tompkins? Have you looked at your patchy lawn lately? Have you failed miserably at spreading your mulch? If so, ask Liam for his business card. He'll hook you up. Mention my name, he'll take 10% off the job. Where's Radio Gallart? Got a car that needs to be refurbished? He's the man. You should see what he did with his VW Beetle. Where's Sarah Thomas? Got some questions about your frontal lobe? Not really sure what glial cells do? I legitimately don't know still, so Sarah, tell me after. Sarah will answer any and all of your neuroscience questions. Where is our girls' soccer team? Did you get asked to coach a U8 town soccer team and you have no clue how to run a practice or teach them how to dribble a soccer ball? This crew has you covered. They'll provide tips for you so you can win the town championship for the price of about 100 bucks an hour, they don't come cheap. I mean, they got the rings to prove it. Where's Ryan Walter? Got some space in your wall at home, need a mural painted? Ask Ryan, she'll put a picture up there that will make your mouth drop. Where's Mike O'Brien? The word complaining does not exist in his vocabulary. He basically wrote every assignment with his left hand, even though he's a righty, and not at no point did he complain. Where is our Be Well crew? Tegan Burmis, Libby Bradbury, Savannah Garcia, Ashley Ross, and Caitlin Siminski. Are you having a tough day or week, feeling stressed? They have you covered with tips on how to cope with your mental health. Where are Kara Becker and Ella Hughes? Are you looking for a new dance routine and need some choreography help? Do you have a wedding coming up and still don't know how to do the cha-cha slide? Give them a call. I've legitimately seen Kara sketch out an actual dance routine in class while I was teaching. <laughs> Where is Aislinn Dalrymple? Well, we know where she is. Need something done? Just ask her. I don't care what it is, she will get it done. Aislinn has earned every grade, compliment, and accolade that she has ever received. Where is Aiden Dunphy? Does your child want to be a successful multi-sport athlete? Do they like soccer, hockey, and lacrosse? Find Aiden, he'll show them how to do it. Or DJ Gilmore, he can show them how to shoot a basketball, throw a football, or even throw a javelin. And apparently he has some juggling skills too. 
Where are Caleb Berry, Mike Generazzo, and Ben Chow? Have you seen the game where two students stand across from one another and do this thing where they like shadow box? And if you don't know how to play, they'll show you. Side note, my first time playing, I beat Caleb and Ben. No big deal. Are you in need of promoting hit musical? Check in with Olivia Buzan, Sophia Caliento, Cam Charnay, Kerry Driscoll, Theo, Theo Madsen, and Karma Woodmore. Their passion for theater and the arts shines through in their approaches to their shows. I legitimately have a signed copy of one of their posters up in my room. Can't wait to put it up on eBay when they're all on Broadway. <laughs> and if you aren't sure of when to slay, how to slay, when to say period, or what in what is not valid, ask Elizabeth Tilton and Sophia Cott. <laughs> and if you want to talk to someone about perseverance and a never quit attitude, talk to Kaylee Jensen. She is her own definition of strong. Not bad, huh? And that's only a small sample of this amazing class of 2023. Those were just some of the students that I had the pleasure of teaching this year. If you brought up any other teacher, I guarantee they could find another group of students to brag about. We can learn from you, these young people. When we, will, when we open up to them and really listen to them and take time to make sure they are heard, we open up amazing opportunities to not only be exposed to the things I just mentioned, but, also to, the, but to also see how much they have to offer. They're really just everything you and I are. Take us at our worst and at our best and everything in between, and that's them. But if you really want to know what this class of 2023 is all about, you need to look no further than how they showed empathy, compassion, love, and friendship when they faced their most difficult challenges. They were there for one another and stood by each other in their toughest days. They had shoulders to cry on and arms opened to embrace one another. I know how we often think the younger generation has it all wrong and we know better, but I don't think that's the case. The young people we see today are agents for change and they are doers. They are resilient. We are in good hands. To the class of 2023, you got this, period. everyone. My name is Adeline Hamilton. I'm the secretary of our class and today I get the honor of introducing a truly exceptional and extraordinary person. I doubt you have ever met anyone as hardworking and as smart as Ella. Ella's involved in just about everything you could think of. Key Club, she's the treasurer. National Honor Society, she's the treasurer. And a member of Band with Distinctions and a talented dancer. I actually got the honor of performing an interesting disco dance with Ella at a summer talent show when we were younger, but we don't have to talk about that. Let's just say there was some tie-dye involved, some sunglasses maybe. Anyways, I could stand here and talk about how smart and academically talented Ella is, which she is, but I think the thing that stands out about Ella is her character. Ella is so humble. She's accomplished so many things and she takes praise and awards with so much maturity and pose. She is one of the kindest people I've ever met. Always sweet and re reassuring to everyone she meets. I've known Ella since fifth grade and I've never heard her say something even nearly mean. <laughs> even when we were on the music trip to Florida and me and my friend Lizzie somehow managed to lock ourselves out of our room's bathroom for the day, Ella just laughed even though all her stuff and Rosella stuff was locked inside for the day. <laughs> Ella's kind attitude to everyone is something we should all strive to mimic. I'm so excited to see what great things are gonna do Ella and where your journey is gonna take you. And so it's a great honor. I introduce to you our class of 2023's, oh, I don't know how to say it, salutatorian, Ella Hughes. <laughs> My bad. Thank you, Addie, for the amazing introduction. Welcome friends, family, and graduates to the Silver Lake class of 2023 graduation. I would like to thank Superintendent Pru, Assistant Superintendent Lynch, Principal Gill, Assistant Principals Blett and Pratt, school committee members and faculty for all of their hard work during the past four years. 
I would also like to congratulate our valedictorian, Sarah, on all of her achievements and for motivating me to work my hardest. I would like to thank my parents, who have been my biggest supporters, and I wouldn't be the person I am today without them. Lastly, I would like to congratulate all of the graduates on their accomplishments and for making Silver Lake so memorable. If you had asked me freshman, my freshman self where I pictured being on graduation day, I never would have imagined being here on this stage. During the past four years, I have been surrounded by so many intelligent and diligent people, all who have motivated me to work my hardest. It wasn't until this fall that I realized countless hours of studying and homework might pay off and I would have the opportunity to, deli to deliver this speech. Once I was awarded this position, I felt this pressure to write the masterpiece of presentational speaking. At only 17 years old and with no previous experience in public speaking, I'm not sure why I expected myself to write the Mona Lisa of speeches. When I sat down to write my speech, my ambition was short-lived as my paper remained blank. Redirecting my attention, I turned to watch my favorite movie. So instead of studying for the AP physics exam the night before, I watched the beloved Disney Pixar film Inside Out at nine o'clock at night. Sorry, Mr. Gregory. I have always loved this movie since its release in 2015. Most of you may know the plot already, but to summarize, the film follows the inner emotions of a young girl named Riley. When her family moves away from Minnesota, her emotion sadness begins to overpower her emotion joy. Joy struggled to keep control and inadvertently causes the duo to be transported to the back of Riley's mind. This movie holds a special place in my heart as towards the end of the film, Joy and Sadness unite to discover that Riley finds comfort when she's surrounded by love and that our emotions are dynamic. After watching the film's exploration of emotions in childhood, I thought of one of our most notable peers, Aiden, better known as Ramsey. Ramsey and I are cousins and was my best friend. Once we entered Silver Lake, I saw his constant presence in the school. He created memes for the track and band Instagram pages, filmed novice pieces of cinema with his best friends, and would enthusiastically debate about his favorite food combinations. So coming back to school after December vacation without him was very challenging for all of us. During that time, I saw how we were able to come together and support one another. Watching us hug, cry, and mourn unlocked something in my brain, the realization that we need a community to guide us through life. It was at that moment when I realized that Silver Lake is my second family. Every student, teacher, and staff member here is so eager to support each other and to lend a listening ear when needed. What amazed me the most was observing my peers unite and go out of their way to remember Aiden. Our students organized the first annual Ramsey Run led by Key Club President Caitlin Siminski. Many of us came to his prayer service and others demonstrated so many acts of kindness. I regret that I did not see this community that was standing right in front of me four years ago. My peers' ability to travel unmapped roads and overcome obstacles has been present all along. Our students are soccer state champions and drama stars, CTE students who worked co-ops and passed multiple AP classes, and student council leaders and multi-instrumentalists. Even when senioritis was in full swing, many were able to combat the disease and continued pushing themselves to success. After watching myself and my peers constantly come back to their, the school and dedicate their time towards so many groups, I would ask, why have all of us spent so much time at Silver Lake? Just as my classmates found their communities, I did as well, especially within the music department. Being part of band all four years has given me so many amazing opportunities and friendships. I marched in my first field show freshman year, performed in front of the school, and played in the Disney World Music Festival. Traveling with the trifecta, band, choir, and drama, highlighted the community within the sole organization. As Rosella Hoffman and I hip-bumped on the Disney stage, the choir cheered our names. As the choir won best in class and Theo Madsen won best student accompanist, the band screamed the loudest. Any student part of this interconnected group has found their lifelong friends. Since my trip, I realized that no matter if you were a president, captain, or average student here at Silver Lake, each one of us has had a profound impact in developing this beloved school community. Just as Riley found her peace by reconnecting with people who loved and supported her, I did as well. The understanding that even when we do not realize it, we will always have people that care for us as we care for them. That is the true reason I keep coming back to the school, for the family that lies behind its walls. Even as we move on to our separate ways and find new communities, there's still a group of loving and supportive people right by our sides. Just as Inside Out explores how our emotions are a collective spectrum, I think that is most present here today. Although today should be a joyous day, there's still sadness that lurks. There is joy that we are creating our own futures and following our passions, but there is sadness that we are leaving behind our childhood and friends. As we head towards the future, I will never forget my Silver Lake family and will always cherish the memories that I have made with every one of my peers graduating today. 
Wherever we end up in the next few years, even if we do not find a community elsewhere, Silver Lake will always be the light guiding us through the storm. So maybe watching Inside Out at 9 o'clock was worth it. I think the reason I created the pressure to write the perfect speech was to honor the supportive, talented, and loving class. Shortly, we will be walking out of Silver Lake the same way I entered. Freshman me walked alone onto this field for band camp in 2019, not knowing what the next four years would be like. But today, I'm leaving with a community by my side. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2023. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rosella Hoffman and I'm the class historian. Tonight, I am honored to be introducing your valedictorian for the class of 2023. I've been incredibly fortunate over the past six years to become close friends with this student from meeting up throughout the year for lunch dates or suffering through AP physics together. I mean, the class itself was so much fun. Uh, the exam was a different story. Um, <laughs> I can't even begin to describe how talented the student is. She especially she's especially dedicated to her academics, taking the most rigorous courses our school offers and excelling in all of them. She created the Red Cross Club here at the lake and has hosted school-wide blood donation drives over the past two years. Whilst doing all of this, she was the president of the National Honor Society and one of the Varsity Girls tennis captains this year. Throughout her remarkable years here at Silver Lake, this student has proved to be one of the most remarkable, tenacious, and benevolent people to ever walk these halls. With excitement and bittersweet emotions, I'm eager to watch her embark on her next chapter at Harvard University this fall. It is with great honor and admiration that I introduce you to the class of 2023 valedictorian, Sarah Thomas. Thank you so much, Rosella. A warm welcome and thank you to Superintendent Prue, Assistant Superintendent Lynch, members of the school committee, and our family members who have gathered here tonight. Before I begin, I would like to express my gratitude to those who made it possible for me to be addressing you today. Firstly, thank you to our wonderful administration, Principal Gill and Assistant Principals Pratt and Blett, for creating an environment in which we have felt safe, enriched, and engaged over the past four years. Thank you to all of the teachers, guidance counselors, especially Mrs. Ryan and Mr. Garofalo, my guidance counselors, and other staff members who have dedicated themselves to supporting and mentoring us. And of course, the biggest thank you goes to my family. To my parents, thank you for instilling in me an appreciation for education and a penchant for hard work. To my two little sisters, thank you for being my biggest cheerleaders and for keeping me humble. I would also like to take a moment to recognize somebody that should be in the risers with us today, but is not. Last December, we all lost a dear friend, Aiden Ramsey. As a class, we have spent our most emotional moments with Aiden in our minds and in our hearts. As we continue into our exciting and uncertain futures, I hope we all remember the certainty that was Aiden's infectious passion, his radiant personality, and his unwavering care for others. Our time as a class has certainly been a whirlwind of happy and sad moments, of fear and hope, of chaos and resilience. Midway through our freshman year, the faces of our classmates became locked behind black, silent Zoom windows. Also, just guys, how convenient it was that everybody's cameras and microphones were broken every single day during every class for nine months straight. That was really crazy. Um, but nevertheless, we persisted and we emerged as juniors. Our return to school grounds was met by constant stressors. SATs, college applications, a fresh sink being ripped from the bathroom walls, Nothing completes an exhausting day of classes like having to walk across the school to find an open bathroom. Of course, our class shared many happy moments as well. We tore up the gym floor at homecomings, the ones where the lights were shut off. We rallied around our girls' soccer team as they fought their way to a state title. We adorned ourselves in face paint and costumes for countless spirit days. Through our passion, dedication, and optimism, we have shaped this school and each other irreversibly. I could not have asked for a more spirited, brilliant, and unique group of individuals to spend the past four years with. And yet, although I hold my class in such high esteem, I must admit, I am not qualified to offer life advice to any of you. 18 years of living is not much to go off of. In fact, the most important lessons I have learned so far have come from my classmates, conveyed not through words of wisdom, but through their actions. 
So rather than rely on my own limited experience, I want to share my class's valuable teachings with all of you. Firstly, you are never powerless so long as you maintain your voice. Whether in a whisper or a scream, never stop fighting for what you believe is right. Far too often, our generation is bombarded by claims that we are uncaring or lazy. This class has proven the exact opposite. Whether it is advocating for everybody's right to feel safe on school grounds or educating others on the importance of mental health, we have proven our ability to be active, mindful, and powerful change makers. As we depart high school, we must raise our voices ever higher and carry the courageous conversations we have started into our university classrooms, our workplaces, and our communities. Second, never let your hard work be taken for granted. Throughout high school, it is easy to feel as though our success is based solely on our academic performance. But over the past four years, this class has displayed diligence and dedication in so many areas, from excelling in advanced classes, to mastering trades, to brightening our school community through extracurricular service. Each one of these pursuits deserves the utmost respect. You just need to know where to find it. Seek out the places and the people that appreciate and engage your passions. Your future will thank you for it. And finally, when your voice goes silent and your effort has been exhausted, your happiness is your most valuable resource. Guard it, nurture it, and cherish it. After our experience with the pandemic, this class has been unafraid to prioritize and advocate for mental health. We must remember that there is nothing weak about rest and there is no shame in caring for yourself over all else. Our most brilliant triumphs begin in our minds and in our hearts, so take care of them. After four years of absorbing these lessons, we now face a crossroads, each of us confronting our own daunting transitions. Our futures diverge in directions as impressive and as diverse as we are. But as our eyes look towards the horizon, I urge us to remember the lessons we have shared with each other and the community we have built here together. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2023. Today, I have the great pleasure of introducing a strong, hardworking leader and admirable role model, our, princi our principal, Ms. Gill. She creates an environment that allows for not only academic achievement, but individual social and emotional growth for each and every one of her students. Not only is Ms. Gill a strong leader, but she has a big heart to make every student feel as though they are important and capable of great things. Whether she is applauding in the audience at a drama club performance, cheering from the bleachers at a sporting event, or congratulating students at awards night, you can always find Ms. Gill encouraging every individual to succeed in whatever their passion is. Every morning when you walk into the high school, you are guaranteed to be greeted with the biggest smile. Even when our high school experiences were unpredictably altered, Principal Gill fought to ensure we can make the most of our situation and kept traditions and events alive here at the lake. She models how flexibility, determination, and positivity can help us overcome any obstacle we may encounter throughout our lives. I am truly honored to introduce to you Principal Gill. Good evening. Thank you, Lily, for both the beautiful and heartwarming introduction and for your dedication to your class. It has been a joy to work with you and your fellow class officers in your leadership roles. I am pleased to welcome our superintendent, assistant superintendent, district and school administration, school committee members, selectmen, faculty, family members, and friends to celebrate the class of 2023's commencement. It is an honor to be able to stand at this podium year after year to honor the achievements of our seniors and the remarkable journey they have been on not only these past four years of high school, but throughout all of their young lives as they've grown from pint-sized preschoolers to lifelong learners and leaders. This graduating class is particularly special to me because I've had a front row seat watching so many of you grow up together. Whether it was in the old neighborhood, through town sports, or as the younger siblings of some of my favorite former students. One of you, who will continue to remain nameless even after four years of being here, I held in my arms when you were just days old and have the greatest honor to call my niece. And just as I'm sure your family members sitting before you today can relate, I find myself wondering where the time has gone and how did we end up here so quickly. Time is an interesting concept 
how fast it can fly by or how slow it can go. Your four years here at Silver Lake passed all too quickly in my opinion, and freshman year was cut way too short. And yet you've accomplished more in this short time than what others might need a lifetime to fulfill. And if you indulge me for a few more minutes, I'd like to share with all of our guests here tonight your highlight reel. The class of 2023 is incredibly talented. They are artists, musicians, dancers, and performers. They are athletic, leading their teammates to league and division tournaments, including the ultimate victory by our women's soccer team winning this year's state championship. They are thinkers, earning high academic achievements and awards competing at state forensic, academic decathlon, and math tournaments, and winning state district skills USA championships. They are made of grit and determination, completing dual enrollment programs, co-ops, and internships, earning their nursing and preschool licenses, starting their own businesses, and collectively providing thousands of hours of community service. They are leaders serving their class and student body in the Key Club, National Honor Society, and as student council officers and executive board members, captains, directors, choreographers, and best buddies. On paper, the accolades of this graduating class are pages long, but there are some attributes that don't make it into a spreadsheet or are celebrated at an award ceremony. Beyond the classroom and the shops, off the stage and athletic fields, and after the busy school day has passed by, it's the characteristics of this class beyond the academic day that truly define who they are. It has been a joy to watch them develop as thinkers and leaders in our school community. I hope they never forget that they are a valuable member of a class who spoke up for victims of domestic violence, raised thousands of dollars for cancer research, took vows of silence as an ally to their peers, invited students sitting by themselves to join them at the lunch table, restored school spirit and collegiality, and raised mental health awareness. I hope they never forget how they came together as a class and a community after the loss of their beloved classmate, Aiden. How during perhaps their darkest days, they cared for one another, supported one another, and loved one another. They drew strength from each other and taught all of us the true meaning of friendship, the essence of resiliency, and the importance of community. The members of the class of 2023 graduate today prepared to chase their dreams. Some are headed to college to continue their education in a specific field. Some will start their careers this summer with the licenses and certifications they hold in growing areas of agriculture, industry, nursing, and business. And some are preparing to serve our country in the armed forces. I am beyond proud to share that the class of 2023 graduate from high school as thinkers, entrepreneurs, and leaders. My wish for them is that they continue to challenge themselves to think beyond themselves and serve others in their community to every extent possible. My hope is that they never forget that as much as life can be unpredictable, they are all still very much in control of their perspective. Not necessarily in a glass half full or half empty kind of way, but in how they choose to respond to adversity. In keeping with my annual tradition, I have a special gift for the class of 2023. A quote to be dedicated to the class and a copy of the book the quote is from to be donated to each of our three towns public libraries. In her novel, Maybe in Another Life, author Taylor Jenkins Reid explores the idea that there are an infinite number of universes and that perhaps there are other lives we are living, lives where everything that could happen is happening. That every time we make a decision, there is a version of us out there somewhere who made a different choice, and that an infinite number of versions of ourselves are living out the consequences of every single possibility in our lives. The author explores this construct through her main character, Hannah, in alternating chapters with two parallel stories, each one reflecting a different outcome after one crucial decision. What struck me the most after reading this book is that so many of us focus so heavily on the what ifs of life, and perhaps not enough on the what abouts. Or as the author more eloquently puts it in the quote I've selected for you, when you sit there and wish things had happened differently, you can't just wish away the bad stuff. You have to think about all the good stuff you might lose too. 
My beloved graduates, the bad stuff is inevitable. Don't ever lose sight of or forget the good stuff. Treasure it and keep it close to your heart. Let that be what carries you forward. Thank you. Tonight, I will be introducing a visionary leader who has dedicated their time and expertise to the betterment of our school community. Throughout the last four years, you could say our high school experience has been a bit abnormal. Uh, despite having our freshman year cut short, our sophomore year being hybrid, and our junior year wearing masks, uh, Dr. Pru has worked tirelessly to make our high school years as normal as possible. She has demonstrated unwavering leadership and commitment to making sure our time here at Silver Lake has been enjoyable and memorable. I have to say, out of the four years here at the lake, our senior year has been the greatest. Uh, the only complaint I have is, out of every year, why this year to have no snow days? <laughs> Please join me in expressing our sincerest appreciation and welcoming our superintendent, Dr. Pru. Faculty, staff, family, friends, and graduates of the class of 2023. It is my distinct pleasure to see you all on this special day. Today, we celebrate the accomplishment of these students who over the past four years, we have seen the great works that they have gone on to accomplish and what they will go on to accomplish in the world of tomorrow. For those of you who know me well, you know I am a lover of science, history, and everything Disney. For this reason, I would like to begin by speaking about the Carousel of Progress, an attraction in Disney World's Tomorrowland which combines all three of these things. This attraction is a show where the seats move around the center of animatronics where both scenes and time passes. The show centers around an American family of the 20th century and the changes that have occurred in the way in which they live their lives. It contains a distinct sense of optimism, and every scene ends with a catchy song, with a chorus that goes as follows. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, and tomorrow is just a dream away. I wish to share these lyrics with you today because I think that we can all learn something from this iconic Disney attraction. First and foremost, we must all dream big. Time and again throughout history, we have seen that the world is shaped by dreamers every day. Those with the greatest imaginations have been some of the most impactful innovators, leaders, and figures in human history. This nation was forged by thinkers and dreamers who dared to imagine a better world. The men and women who see the world for what it can be rather than what it is continue to inspire innovate, and change our lives. Often we can make the mistake of believing that we no longer live in an age without limits. I would ask our graduates here today to remember that we are the history makers. The wheels of time and change never end, and it is the responsibility of your generation to continue this great human experiment. You will continue to push forward, as people have done in the past, creating the next scenes in the great carousel of human history. In addition to this, I encourage all of you to remain optimistic about what lies in the world of tomorrow. Although history has shown us that humans are not always consistent in our work toward progress, it is up to each one of us to make sure that history points in the direction of positive change. Many of the choices that you will have to make in the coming years may seem small to you, perhaps even insignificant. But never forget that the work that you do today can have unfathomable effects that will change the lives of future generations. Many of the innovations that we take for granted today came from people simply living their day-to-day -day lives. Some of these innovators would never have known that their work would change society as we know it. The carousel forces us to consider how different life is now compared to even just a century ago. These innovations of the past prepared the way for modern miracles. Today, we have everything from penicillin to the internet, innovations that have saved untold millions of lives and connected billions of people. 
The work that our graduates do today can make life better for generations to come. This is a powerful and important lesson. The final takeaway from the carousel of progress that I would like all of you to keep in mind is the virtue of selflessness. It is no mistake that the story centers around a family, as it is a reminder of what progress is for. May you all go forth into the world and work towards bettering the lives of others. Our greatest accomplishments will be realized when we work today for the promise of helping someone tomorrow and for the betterment of the entire human family. Therefore, graduates of the class of 2023, friends, family, staff, and faculty, go forth with a dream in your heart and optimism on your mind because there's a great big beautiful tomorrow and that promise of tomorrow is yours. Use your hearts and minds to change it for the better. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite assistant principals Catherine Pratt and Stephen Blett, school committee chairwoman Paula Hatch, to please join me for the presentation of diplomas. So that you can enjoy watching your favorite graduate in the moment, Legacy Studios is here to capture a picture of each student receiving their diploma on stage. However, guests are welcome to take pictures or record from their seats or the aisle, but we ask that all visitors be respectful of those around them and avoid blocking the view of another family during their student's procession across the stage. We are pleased to present diplomas to the Silver Lake Regional High School graduating class of 2023. Sarah Patricia Thomas, valedictorian. Ella Pamela Hughes, salutatorian. Benjamin Harrison Carroll, career and technical education student of the year. Carson Patrick Rose, president. Lily Grace Cannon, vice president. Adeline Grace Hamilton, secretary. Aislinn Aki Dalrymple, treasurer. Rosella Marie Hoffman, historian. <laughs> Dylan James Anderson. <laughs> Derek James Andreessen. <laughs> Scott Robert Arnold. <laughs> James Paul Arsenault. Joseph Daniel Arsenault. <laughs> Emma Ray Aubrey. <laughs> Cassandra Jean Fagan. Tilden Arthur Baker. Sean Robert Balchunas. Roman Thomas Berry. Kara Adeline Becker. Owen Lawrence Belanger. Aiden Joseph Bell. <laughs> Sam Nicholas Bercacci. <laughs> Tegan Marie Burmes. <laughs> Alyssa Noel Berry. <laughs> Caleb James Berry. <laughs> Anna 
Anna Napatson Billings, Student Council Vice President. Noah R.J. Borgeson. Noah Thomas Bossio. Bob Dilla Fu Halufa. Olivia Ann Guzan. Olivia Ann Bradbury. Emma Nicole Brand. Paige Charlotte Brenner. Jamie Lynn Bumpus. Emma Mary Florence Burke. Matthew Francis Burley. Andrew Bruce Burns. Julia Christine Caldwell. Sophia Louise Caliento. Lucas Christopher Campbell. Emma Catherine Cardoso. Lillian Rose Carmody. Brandon Ryan Kavicki. Danielle Jesse Shaves. Jordan Chrysosomides. Jake Andrew Cipolo. Gavin Ryan Cleary. Sophia Marie Clymer. Kylie Renee Cogan. Drew William Coles. Maxwell Joseph Colombo. Mason Patrick Connor. Abby Rose Cook. Harrison Mueller Cook. Spencer Mueller Cook. William Michael Corby. Juliana Lee Corcoran. Brielle Paulina Cody. Benjamin Knight Cronin. Terrell Joshua Curran. Emma Carol Cushion. Caleb Michael Dolan. Pedro Lucas De Paula Herrera De Silva. Brooke Clark Delmicus. Catherine Maria Di Macedo. Cameron Philip Dejeuner. Sydney Joyce Diado. Alfaro Dennis DeBona. John David Dickinson. Christopher David DiLorenzo. Thomas Robert DiLorenzo. Jacob Andrews Ahmed Elganami. 
Julia Bauzea El Ahmed El Ghanemi. Christopher Patrick Emmett. Elizabeth Karen Engstrom. Benjamin Francis Erickson. Emmanuel Escaline. Luke James Fagan. Connor Joseph Finn. Jack Connor Flaherty in absentia. Autumn Riley Fletcher. Jake David Foley. Lillianne Gracie Foy. Sarah Cornelia Frame. Savannah Amber Garcia. Natalie Maria Hanau Gilmain. Michael Francis Generazzo. Courtney Jacqueline Garrity. Emily Ann Garrier. Brianna May Gillardi. Juliana Ray Gilcoin. Alec Stephen Gillis. Douglas Allen Gilmore Jr. What up, kids? Haley Lynn Lodgett. Kyle Robert Godin. Radio Matthew Goulart. John Arthur Gravenice. Ryan James Green. Sean Robert Griffin. Michael Joseph Guest. Charlotte Eleanor Haas. Luke Philip Haley. Owen Patrick Hall. Wesley Ethan Hawley. Cole Joseph Healy. Morgan Olivia Healy. Liam Anthony Healy. Sawyer May Henrich. Jake Danielle Henry. Emily Elizabeth Heskett. Nathan Turner Hicks. James Curtis Hoffman. Henry Lloyd Holmes IV. Bailey Wilson Cooper. Jared Parker Howley. Riley Maureen Hunt. Nardine Sammy, Nardine Jean Sammy Sobi Ishek. Melissa Maurice Issa.
Taylor Michelle Alice Cowlick. Victor Tashu Martins Lacerda. <laughs> Megan Francis La Liberté. <laughs> Sage Marie Lemieux. <laughs> Ainsley Blanche Lennox. Maximus Thomas Linares. Luke Christopher Lostrom. Cameron Brooke McDonald. Natalie Christina McTavish. Theodore Christian Madsen. Brian Charles Mathioli Jr. Maya J. Mantega. Emma Rhiannon Marquat. Eliza Ray Martin. David Michael Massio Jr. Lily Marie Masada. Jacob Anthony Master Marino. Mackenzie Rose Marienzo. Rebecca Marie McCarthy. Leah Cassidy McDonald. Sydney Caroline McGlone. Colin Robert McHugh. I love you, Colin! Caroline Jane McKenna. Gavin Peter McKenna, in absentia. Jaden Calhoun McKeough. Ava Rose McLean. Ava Noemi McTig Tassinari. Margaret Francis Meehan. Nicole Rebeto Mello. Joseph James Miklos Jr. Mia Elizabeth Mitchell. Gabrielle Loretta Monsini. Addison Jane Warren. Matthew Alton Morris. Olivia Madison Morris. Zachary Harrison Mules. Max Robert Mullen. Adam Connor Murphy. Bennett Michael Murray. Mary Ashraf Nashet. 
Matthew Robert Nesrala. Cassandra May Navaris. Stephen Michael Nista. Michael James O'Brien. Aiden Joseph O'Keefe. Connor Allen O'Keefe. Samantha Kate O'Neill. Jacob Nelson Oliveira. Dominic Jeffrey Ortenzi. Hannah Kathleen Page. Andrew William Palma. Amy Michelle Parent. Mia Ray Parent. Jessica Blake Perillo. Joseph David Pascarello. <laughs> Noah James Pavlik. Emily Francis Perfetio. Kendall Diane Peterson. Nicholas Andrew Peterson. Emily May Pimentel. Kira Flannery Piso. Sage Ann Pamela. Madeline Lee Poulin. Max Walter Poulin. Alexia Marie Powers. Isabel Lynn Powers. Zoe Jennifer Quackenbush, Student Council Senior Delegate. Michael Robert Rabafetti. Aiden Thomas Ramsey. Accepting his diploma on behalf of his family is his cousin, Alan Hughes. Benjamin Rankin. Anya Victoria Ricci, in absentia. Angelina Amy Richards. James Michael Riley. Wyatt William Rosano. Alice Lucille Rose. Ashley Ann Ross. Travis Owen Rousseau Pringle. Trinity Amber Rupert. Jordan Catherine Riles. <laughs> Catherine Marie Sanford. <laughs> Caroline 
Rain Galga Smaley. Edward Andrew Sigliano. Carter Adam Shirtlift. Caitlin Patrice Saminski. Thomas Cameron Silverberg. Jason William Singletary. Brian Frederick Smith. Sophia Catherine Smith. Nolan Francis Snow. Ryan Matthew Solari. Calista Jade Spur. Jenny May Stanley. Alexander Fenway Styles. Cooper Arthur Strasdis. Daniel Patrick Sullivan. Grace Kathleen Sullivan. Oliver Pierre Swanson. Caitlin Judith Sweeney. William Anderson Sims, Student Council Publicity Coordinator. Autumn Rain Thevenin. Elizabeth B. Tilton. <laughs> Liam Edward Tompkins. <laughs> Marissa Lynn Van Busker. John Patrick Venna. <laughs> Jessica Lindsay Baraka. Khalid D'Anthony Vicks. <laughs> Jacob Frederick Villa. <laughs> Michael Joseph Villanova Jr. <laughs> Thomas Joseph Arthur Vogt. <laughs> Genevieve James Walsh. Ryan Christine Walter. Logan Lewis Marcel Walters. Trey Jamie Watts. Boyd Lewis Wechter. Dakota Lane Godwin Werner. Ariana Noel Whittemore, Student Council President. Karma Richard Whittemore. Brandon Harold Williamson. Matthew Robert Wolf. Grant Caleb Woods. Benjamin Taylor Chow.
Superintendent Crew, the students in front of you here today have met all local and state requirements set forth by the Silver Lake Regional School Committee and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It is my honor and privilege to present to you for their diplomas the graduates of the class of 2023. With great pride, I accept this class for graduation. Surrounded by your families and friends, the faculty and staff of Silver Lake Regional School District, and the communities of Halifax, Kingston, Pembroke, and Plimpton, class of 2023, please rise. It is an honor to exercise the responsibility vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Graduates, please move your tassels from right to left. I now pronounce you graduates of Silver Lake Regional High School with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. My fellow classmates, on the count of three, you may throw your caps. Three, two, one, congratulations.